Hello everyone. What you see here, what I'm sitting on, is the QAV 540G um, Studio Edition, uh, custom built by myself. And you can buy this thing online in my store. And today I'm just going to show you what's inside the box, and then I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to fly. So have fun. So the Studio Kit comes in this awesome Pelly case made by GoProcases.com. It's um, a special build for the QAV 540 and the QAV 500. So I'm just gonna open this up. And here you have it. So you can see the QAV 540G in the middle. A Utaba T8FG uh, transmitter, 14 channels on 2.4 with an easy UHF transmitting module on the back. You have a Walmart 2.4 receiver with a Team Black Sheep Yagi antenna. Um, and now you can choose between a 13 inch or 12 inch field view FPV screen with the sunshade or your Fat Shark Base SD goggles. What you also get is um, three of those battery packs, Lumineer um, 5200 milliamp 3 cell. Uh, four cell, I'm sorry, three of those, as well as one ground station LiPo, which is a Zippy uh, three cell this time, 3000 3, million power. The last thing which is in the box right here is just your uh, wall charger for the Futaba T8 FG radio. So when you are trying to set up this thing to fly, the first thing you're gonna take out is the video receiver. It's this thing right here. I'm gonna put this on the side. I'm right on the floor is wet so I'm gonna just lay it right here. You can also put it on a tripod or whatever. Then um, take your sunshade, just put it on the monitor like that. And now you're gonna choose between if you wanna fly on your monitor or on your goggles because you have a big a uh, bunch of cables right here and one of them uh, works with the goggles and one of them works with the screen only so as you can see right here I have one with with all those clinch adapters and XT60 and the power plug and on the other side you will find this six pin this is for the goggles but today I'm not gonna fly on the goggles so I'm gonna take the other cable which has uh, one of these power cables a JST connector and the clinch again. So we're gonna plug those in. The yellow clinch goes onto the uh, yellow clinch on the screen. We're just gonna plug in the JST the right way. And then give this guy some power. And we're also gonna plug in this uh, three pin, three and a half millimeter jack into the AV out of the transmitter. So now we should have a um, signal from this uh, system. Next you take out the easy UHF antenna which is embedded in the side of the, of the case. Then slowly remove the Futaba. Screw the antenna in to the module. Just like that. Then um, put your module into the high setting for flying. Um, make sure that every switch is in the front position, so just flick every switch to the front and also that this um, slider right here is in the front. And then go back to this switch which is labeled with manual, AT and GPS mode and put this into GPS for easy takeoff. Now to turn it on we're gonna click the RTN button and then power it on while holding the RTN button and then go to RF off, which is going to turn off the internal 2.4 GHz uh, transmitting module from the Futaba. So click RTN again, and there you have it. So put the transmitter aside. And now we're finally going to remove our copter. First, um, we're going to put the antennas in, in, in an upright position. You can see I have the diversity, immersion RC, EZHF receiver on here, 8 channels. 
just put them in the V shape, just like that. And also uh, right up um, the video transmitter antenna. We're gonna make sure our GoPro is fixed on here pretty well. And this gimbal actually works with uh, the GoPro 2 and 3. So that's all about it. Now we're gonna take out the battery. <coughs> Slide it in the back like this with the Luminear logo on top. As far up front as you can and then just a little bit back so that you can't see this hole anymore. And you should have a perfectly balanced quad factor. And if you're sure that your transmitter is up and running, you're gonna plug in the yellow XC60 into the battery. Just like that. And you're gonna hear the gimbal stabilize after that. Just keep it still. Here we go. And now you can also plug in uh, the bounce lead plug if you want to. What this is gonna do, it's gonna turn on the LED system. But in the in the bright sun you cannot really see it, so I'm not gonna plug it in. All right. Now, um, as you can see, out here uh, the grass is pretty high and it's also wet because it rained yesterday. So what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna take the copper off. Uh, from my hand, but first I'm gonna power up um, the monitor and the receiver. Uh, with the monitor you have to power it up after you've powered up your copy because otherwise the monitor will not detect any signal and just shut off again. As you can see we have good signal. So now when you're looking at your monitor you can see I'm using the um, EJI IOSD Mini on this one. So you can see your flight mode on the bottom left is GPS mode right now. I can switch that into attitude mode and manual mode, like that. You see your height, your distance to takeoff, your battery voltage, which is, which is 16.2 right now. You're gonna see your pitch and roll degrees. You're gonna see your velocity or your speed. You're gonna see your satellites. I have 10 satellites right now, that's absolutely fine. And you're gonna see if you're ascending or descending and also the uh, the rate uh, at how many meters per second you're uh, going up or down. And also in the middle you can see um, a little so, some dots right here and those dots are always in a um, horizontal position so you all if you're following with the gimbal you always know um, how your copter is oriented. And now I'm just gonna turn the gimbal down a little bit. As you can see in the bottom right here, there is the gimbal. And I'm just gonna turn the camera down. As you can see from the FPV camera, you have real time uh, view on your GoPro. That's a pretty nice feature. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna launch the copter out of my hand because um, it is wet, the grass is wet and uh, way too high to take off without um, putting ton of dirt on your copter. So I am in GPS position hold mode right now. I'm gonna hold it up and I'm gonna do the CC command for the DJI NASA. As you can see the motor spin up. I'm gonna go over 50% of throttle. And the copter flies. That is how you launch the copter out of your hand. As you can see right now, I'm not doing anything and the copter just stays there. Now I'm gonna explain the different features. Right here you have uh, GPS, attitude and manual mode. Those are, those are your flight modes. Then you have on the RD um, uh, turning thing, you have your gain. So I can turn up the gain. As you can see, it's gonna vibrate a lot or it's gonna or if I put it to minus, it's gonna uh, be too slow. So just put it in the middle. Then you can choose between the two cameras. If you have your GoPro connected, you can choose between the FPV camera, which is Cam 1, and your GoPro, which is Cam 2. You have a dual rate switch, which is only needed for your manual flight mode, but manual flight mode is pretty hard to fly for a beginner. 
so do not try that as a beginner. Right here you have your throttle um, up and down, your yaw, which is gonna turn the copter. Let me check that, I'm just gonna... Like that. Yaw is gonna turn your copter around its own axis, like that. If you put this stick to front, the, uh, the copter is gonna fly to the front, it's gonna tilt, and the same goes with right and left. And up here, you have the RTH switch. If you flick this into RTH, the copter is gonna fly back and land. So, and this also happens if you just turn off your transmitter. But right now I'm not gonna do that because the grass is wet and way too high. So right now I've put the copter down and I'm just gonna fly it around a little bit uh, via the FPV screen you can see right now as well. And on the top right here, you see I have just um, played my video uh, receiver with its antenna um, on top of the sunshade, so you don't even really need a a uh, tripod for that. So um, let me just fly FPV, and afterwards I'm also going to show you some um, footage from the GoPro. Right now I'm flying in attitude hold mode, which means it does auto level itself and it also holds the attitude um, with assist of its parameter um, that you're flying on if you have 50% throttle on. So I'm just gonna pass right by us right there. And I'm just gonna do a little flight towards back there. As you can see right now, I'm standing behind the camera, so I have a little separation between video and uh, transmitter. It's always a good thing. And for example, I'm just going to stay here and put it into uh, GPS position hold mode, which you can read right here. So uh, you can read, I'm 113 meters away, 17 or 18 meters high. I'm just going to put it to exactly 50%, so it's not ascending anymore. Uh, you can see ascend or descend rate is zero. I have eight satellites, 0 0.2 meters per second velocity. Pitch is uh, minus two degrees to the front, so there's a little headwind. And I have 15.7 degrees. And um, I'm, the direction is 50, uh, 51%. So right now, let's say um, the battery of this system dies. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna unpower it, and it's automatically gonna go into the RTH mode. And the exact same happens when I flick the RTH switch. So let me put, um, let me just for for fun uh, put the gimbal down a little bit, as you can see here, and then I'm gonna turn it off. As you can see down here, it says uh, fail safe. And what the copter now does, as you can see, I I put my transmitter right here. And I'm gonna film uh, the copter. So what the copter does right now is he's gonna ascend to about 30 meters, then go over its takeoff point, and then after a few seconds, uh, it's just gonna land. I'm gonna show you this right now. As you can see now he is above our takeoff point and now he is descending from, a, from about 30 meters. He is coming down. He's now about 5 meters above us. And he's gonna land at the exact spot I took off. It's like it's like uh, five centimeters uh, away. And the motor's still spinning, and they turn off. There you go. That's how um, the QV 540G with the NASA version two um, lands itself if you lose radio contact. So first, um, if you forget to uh, turn off your GoPro, do that right now. Turn, turn it off. 
then unplug uh, the LED if you had them on as well as this XT60 for the battery power so as you can see now uh, the GoPro is no longer stabilized so that's good you can also see there's no video no more so unplug this battery as well if it would work like that just put it in its spot and then you can turn off your transmitter so to store our transmitter we're gonna remove uh, the antenna again like that put it into its uh, spot the side and then just um, put in the next strap in first insert your futaba now right here it's gonna get a little bit more tricky we're gonna unplug uh, the three and a half millimeter as well as the power connector right here and we're just gonna pull on those two a little bit and we're gonna pull out the, um, the closest JST to ourselves as well as the yellow video clinch just put that together and into this round um, spot right here now we're gonna have to put our copter into the case like that all the props in the right direction and also remove the battery and put it into its spot as well and then just let it fall down don't forget to bend your video antenna down otherwise it's gonna it's gonna get um, damaged then put your uh, easy UHF antennas down get your uh, video receiver put it in its spot as well as the antenna Remove the sunshade. Um, just lay on, on the right side of the case from your view, and we're actually done. So, close the case, and you have done your first successful.